Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I design a weekly kit. So the first thing I'm doing is pulling in the colors. I already designed the Daily Duo kit, so I know what colors I want to use. And the first thing I need to do then is change the colors. So I'm designing in Silhouette Studio. There's a way to select by color, so I'm finding the colors in the previous kit. I'm starting with a kit that I designed before that had four colors in it. So I am starting by selecting those colors and then replacing them with the new ones. It takes a little bit to figure out where the colors are. Because of all the doodles, they have a ton of extra colors in them. So the list of colors ends up being longer than just the main colors that are in the kit. So sometimes it takes a minute for me to find all of the colors that I'm using. So first I go through and change all of the fill colors and then I'll go back and change the line colors. And then I was deleting some clip art. I decided that I wanted the weekend banner to be a different color than the date headers, so I'm going and changing that manually. You'll see as I go too, I need to make sure that I'm changing the SKUs listed on each sheet. As some of you point out to me, I don't always get those changed, um, but I, I try to make sure that I do. Um, the full box on the essential sheet is one that I always spend a bit of time playing around with. This kit doesn't have any clip art. I was thinking about maybe putting some words on here, but I wasn't quite sure what to do. So I played around with this one for a while until I was happy. You can, if you have one of the upgraded versions of Silhouette Studio, you can import your patterns and then um, apply them as fills, which makes things a lot easier. And then you can use the advanced tools to pan and scale them. Um, and this is partly why I do like to design in Silhouette Studio rather than in Illustrator. I use Illustrator for a lot of things, including making cut files, but I do think there's a lot of things that are, um, like the way to, um, to change fills in Illustrator, I think is a little bit fussier and I like doing it in um, Silhouette Studio instead. So um, overall, I think it's kind of surprisingly good software for a lot of different things. And yeah, there's a few things that I think are faster and easier to do in Silhouette Studio than in Adobe Illustrator. So now I'm going through and getting all of the patterns um, updated. And so trying to find a balance of using the different patterns at different scales and trying to create a variety of things that are going to look cohesive. And at this point, now that I've got the essentials done, I'm going to be going through and really just doing this for the rest of the sheets, going through and adding patterns. So I'm going to speed you up a little bit more because the rest of the process gets kind of repetitive. So the next thing I'm doing is getting the, um, the skinny washi on the extra sheets changed. This is one where I want to select all of them at once. So they end up being the exact same as you'll see doing this, I accidentally missed one, um, but it's a lot of, you know, kind of zooming in and out to make sure that I've selected everything and that I'm happy with what I picked. And then I'm going through and getting the SKUs updated on all of them. And here I'm moving on to the washi. And with the washi, I try to figure out a variety of things. I zoomed out here because I like to see um, where the pattern is both horizontally, but also where it ends at the top and the bottom. So I zoomed out a little bit so I can see more how it cuts off and whether or not I have it well centered. Then I'm moving on to the boxes, again, trying to add a variety of patterns and scales and have the colors kind of balanced out. Um, I do like to, maybe it's a, a little weird, but I do like to have the colors kind of distributed across the sheet. So you'd notice I had a, a place where there were three greens next to each other, and then I went back and changed it because I like to have them a little bit spread out. I guess it's pretty to have things color blocked, but um, I'd rather not have like random groupings. Now I'm moving on to the full boxes. Again, because there's no clip art with this kit, it's pretty straightforward to do the pattern fills. The only thing is the previous version did have clip art and, um, and it looks like I'd messed up some of the fills. So it took me a little bit longer to kind of reset it from the previous version. But um, otherwise it's really just putting the fills in and then adjusting the scales and trying to create a variety of full boxes that are going to look cohesive together. Then here I'm working on the weekly reflections for the Moxie Life kit and then the skinny washi. 
and you can see how I like changed the scale to try to get those bees to fit in the middle, but also have enough room on either end that it'll cut fine. So now here I am doing the glitter headers. So I do this, I create the glitter papers in Adobe Illustrator. So I have a glitter texture template and I just need to go in and change the colors. So I have the two windows open next to each other so I can see what colors I'm using in Silhouette Studio and then create them in Adobe Illustrator. And then I just dragged the um, glitter papers in there in the correct colors. And now I'm working on some of the add-ons and you'll see that some of them, the ones that don't have patterns are already ready to go. I just need to change the skew on them to make those updated, but the like appointment labels and ombre boxes, they don't have any patterns on them. So they are all good to go. So I'm zooming in here to look at the patterns a little bit more on these boxes. And then I realized I zoomed out to see if I was all done and I realized I'd forgotten to do the sidebar and the doodles. So um, they have a little bit of pattern. There's a little pattern on there and now I am all done. So you did see that I sped this up quite a bit. Um, this took me about half an hour to do, um, which was I'd say on the faster side for a kit that has clip art and where I'm fussing more with the full boxes and adding deco, that takes a little longer. But this one where I already knew what colors I wanted to do, it was pretty straightforward and not too much of a challenge. But I hope that you enjoyed seeing this. I've never shown a design with me video before. Um, and I hope it was a fun sneak peek behind the scenes. Mm -hmm.